All right, it is um, June 4th at about 20 to 4. Just got a few minutes here, as you can see. Some block is disappearing from the pile. It used to be, I don't know, four or five piles or skids worth of block. And there's a quite a mess going on around the cement mixer. Let's go down and see what they got done today. Um, after a couple days of rain and uh, nasty weather, today it's finally sunshine. And looky here, we got us a wall just about, just about built. In case you're wondering what that PVC pipe is there, that is the, the gutter uh, coming down the middle of the barn um, because there's such a lean in that roof that uh, we had to move it back to that spot a year and a half ago or so. So anyway, um, as you can see, the wall's all done. Let's take a look up top here first before I take you down to the bottom. It's not all done. I shouldn't have said that. The wall is nearing completion. Now what they're going to do tomorrow is they're going to uh, bring the cement truck in here and in each one of those holes uh, in the in the block each individual hole there 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 all the way down the wall they're gonna fill that up with cement and there's rebar down in the bottom there uh, and that is gonna reinforce that wall uh, big time and then if you can look down in the bottom here Right there is another ledge of the footer. That footer's been made wide enough. It's going to hold another... I thought they were going to do 8-inch block wall. They're going to lay another 10-inch block wall. So right beside this existing wall that they just built today, they're going to uh, put another 10-inch block wall, and it's going to be filled with rebar and meshing and concrete. So you're going to have a double wall here. And then that double wall is going to be coated with, the outside of that double wall is going to be coated with uh, some kind of water resistant stuff. I'm not sure what that is. And, uh, and then down in here um, is going to be, you know, as they fill this up with gravel, it's going to be drain tile. So that uh, we don't have the issues uh, that were persisting with the old style uh, stone and how they managed the water, which was pretty much no water management at all. So you can see here's a uh, here's the first window on the wall, and then there's going to be another window right to the left of this piece right here. I imagine that's where the other window is going. And let's see, Let's just go in here and take a look around. Not much has changed since the last video I shot. Um, in here we still have a cribbing supporting the whole barn. That barn is by no means sitting on the uh, sitting on any part of that wall yet. See, we got the spud bars back in out of the yard. <laughs> and um, in one of the other videos, I was talking about these columns too. Uh, not quite poured yet, but you can see the forms are made now. And so they're going to fill that up with concrete around that existing uh, pillar block there. That was just a basically a field stone right down in there. And uh, there's four of them, but this one hasn't been formed in yet. Hmm. have to talk to Andy about that. I'm sure there's a reason for it. I'll tell you what, there has not been one questionable thing like, you know, hey, we said this, and how come you're not doing that? And, and uh, we said this, and you're doing that, or we didn't say it, no, we said, you know, whatever. There's been no miscommunication. It's all been up front. No hassle, hassle-free stuff. It's been really great. It's been a good experience so far, and it's it's uh, we're learning a lot. Vicky and I are learning a lot on this one, so it's uh, on its way. That is, um, I think that's all I wanted to to talk about on that. Yeah. Tomorrow I'll be out here at 6:30 in the morning with the Amish elves, and we'll be uh, I'm going to be moving debris out of the way with Homer. The tractor, we're going to try to get some of that rock pile moved away and get out of the block. And then uh, next Monday they're going to come in and jack up the other side and uh, knock that other wall down. So, coming along, we're just shy of a week into it. Oh, I know what I wanted to go into. <clears throat> we was talking to Andy today, or I was talking to Andy today, and this, this beam is going to be replaced 
because as I showed in another video and I'll show again it's broke right there and you can see it's just rotted from years and years of of water rot and so they've got to replace this whole 40 foot section with a new uh, with new beam and how they're gonna do that we're not quite sure <laughs> uh, we Andy and I were talking about it today we might get the digger to come in with his boom and help us roll some of it in place I'll show you what they're gonna use and uh, make new beam out of these three big babies right here were special made for the project uh, I believe those are 8 by 8 beams solid oak and they're going to splice those together along that wall or up underneath there and what they've got to do they're gonna splice those all together and what they've got to do according to Andy and I can imagine so see if I can show you here right there right there are the joists made out of beams and there's several of those along the way here they've got to notch those out and fit those into place uh, while still holding the barn up and uh, you know I, I'm glad I'm not doing it because it's gonna be a tedious affair I am sure so uh, I wished I could show you them working I wished I wished I could show you how how precise they're being and and some of the craftsmanship but I um, you know I want to respect their culture and uh, so we're not going to film them on camera um, but boy I'd like to film that beam going in we'll have to see what happens all right that's it we'll see you in another clip